welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super simple, hopefully short video for you guys. Um, as you guys know by the title of the video, I wanted to try out the makeup eraser. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I don't know, I wanted to see will it work? Will it replace my makeup towels? We shall see. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jackie, and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video, or as often as you'd like to be reminded about my videos. My videos are here for whenever you guys want to come back and watch them, and let's get into it. Okay guys, so, so as I mentioned in my intro, we're going to be trying that makeup eraser. My husband is over there right now trying to run the warm water so I can get it nice and soaked up. But I am going to put it up against my regular makeup towels. I've actually only been using these for probably a year now. I used to use the Neutrogena makeup wipes a lot and I really, really liked those. But I don't know, after some time of using them, I felt like they started getting a little funny smell. And then I saw Kathleen White's recommended these ones so I went ahead and I gave them a try and I like them I do feel like most times I have to use two especially if I have like glitter or something like that but the main reason I wanted to give the makeup eraser a try is because I film and a lot of times I take my makeup off right after I'm done filming so I go through makeup wipes like crazy and as I'm doing my makeup here with you guys I'm cleaning off my hands and then I still wear makeup off camera as well so that's why I wanted to give it a try so before we get into actually removing the makeup I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read you a little bit of information that is on the website so they're saying that they that the makeup eraser has eight game-changing benefits which is antibacterial no chemicals less waste uh, last three to five years you can wash it in the machine um, it's great for sensitive skin and you can exfoliate your face and lips and obviously you would save money so to use the actual makeup eraser they just say that you basically have to wet it in warm water basically the warmer the better so I feel like that's saying the warmest you can handle it and then basically they just recommend you wash it one to two times Per week and you're supposed to be able to erase the makeup and also exfoliate your face and lips with the cloth I don't even know what it's considered um, if you are interested they do have different colors um, I feel like you're not gonna be able to see but they have different colors and they all retail for $20 I do know that um, Sometimes there will be samples out there if I can find them actually selling like the little piece of sample I'll link it down below. I don't know how much they would retail for but if I find it it'll be down there But $20 beats having to buy a bunch of makeup towels if this works So let me go ahead and get the makeup eraser and then I'll be right back with you guys Okay, so once again, this is my makeup eraser. So this side is supposed to be to erase and this side is supposed to be to exfoliate and hopefully I got that right because once it gets wet it looks almost the same so I'm gonna go right into it because it is cooling off and we're gonna start off with the eyes so also if you've seen the advertisement for these they do say that they remove um, waterproof mascara but I don't wear waterproof mascara so I just kind of like wanted to really leave my makeup on all day because that is how I normally would be removing this after the day of wearing makeup. And also, for those of you that know, sometimes when you do your makeup fresh, it is a little hard to take off. So, I was mostly worried about my eyelashes, honestly. I brought a little bit more warm water and I'm going to try to leave it nice and soaked in this corner and then we'll see if maybe having it a little more wet helps but it is pretty wet already honestly I just feel like this is tugging on your skin so much okay you guys so I feel like I got as much makeup off as I could um let's go in with the exfoliating side and make sure we really got everything and I'm still just 
kind of giving it a little extra water here and there but it was actually really wet to begin with so you will have to have you know water next to you I think to get it to work the best that I can okay you guys so this is what I'm looking like and it looks like the makeup is off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one of my makeup towels and we're gonna kind of see if the makeup is completely gone so I'm gonna rub it here on my nose on my eyelashes and then here. okay so this is right where I was holding it you can see there's like a small hue of I don't know maybe like foundation but there's not a lot I don't know if you can see that I hope you can see it there's not a lot so there was still something there um, but again nothing super major but you know something to think about so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you back out and then I'm gonna do this side here And I always let my towel kind of sit on the eye. Usually I do that first, actually. I was just, I don't know, excited to get to the skin today. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I think I officially took all of it off. So again, I'm just going to get uh, another makeup one. And we're just going to kind of open it up like I did the other one. And we're just going to rub it around. So you can see right here. You can see the little hue of foundation as well. And that was like a brand new clean one. So let me go ahead and moisturize and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, I know it's a different day, different background. I'm sorry. Um, I just really was feeling like I couldn't give you guys my final thoughts on this makeup eraser until I tried it and then washed it and all of that. So let me give you a little bit of pros and cons. I'm going to start off with the cons so we can end on a positive note. So the cons with this. So personally speaking as you can see in my little days where I tried this um it it works let's just say that it works as in it's taking off your makeup but I feel like if you really wanted to any towel sock shirt whatever would take off your makeup right so my first con would be personally that you have to kind of use this really roughly on your skin um in a minute here i'm gonna zoom you in so you guys can see but i'm sure you might be picking up things already if you can see this has been washed 
by machine, which then I had to wash by hand because there was still leftover foundation and stuff on it. So best way to wash it honestly is by hand, like old school, you know, scrubbing and getting into it. Um, personally speaking, um, I did wash it in the machine and both times I felt like there was just still makeup left. Like I had to, you know, give it a little scrub which is not that bad of a con but you're supposed to be able to throw it in the washer and use it out of the washer um so as I was saying you have to firmly go in there and kind of like scrub and scrub and scrub your face now with the makeup towel I'm not saying oh you don't scrub but something about I don't know I guess the makeup remover that it has in the towels um it comes off really easy as opposed to this makeup eraser you kind of have to scrub 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 it says to go in circular motions but i don't know if it's the fabric with the makeup or what exactly but it's hard to do like circular motions on your face because it's almost like the foundation kind of grabs now i do set my foundation i don't know if that has something to do with it if somebody has it and you've tried it and you don't set your foundation and it's easier let us know down below but i set my foundation and so when i try to do circular motions it doesn't really like circulate like I have to kind of push hard and kind of tug on my skin way too much more than I like to anyway also if you have used glitter um in I'm gonna make sure that I pop in where I'm cleaning the glitter off my eye um I have washed this through a machine scrubbed it with my hands afterwards let it air dry and used it on my face and you can see little glitters again I will zoom it in for you in just a second also, just in this time that I was removing removing my makeup, it took just a little bit over 12 minutes to get most of it off. And I say most of it because, as I said, there's glitter on it. And then this eye, I believe, has a little bit of eyeliner. I don't use waterproof eyeliner or mascara, so I don't know, but it's still <laughs> there. So going back to the 12-minute thing, almost every time that I've had to remove my makeup with this, it's taken me anywhere from just over 10 minutes to 15 minutes. So it does take quite a bit of time. I've seen so many videos and so many comments of people saying like, oh, it comes off so easily. Maybe mine's broken. <laughs> I don't know. But it takes a second. And that's fine. But again, they advertise that it's fast and easy and you just need water. Therefore, I expect it to be fast and easy and just need water. <laughs> so those are my main cons with this. Like, you guys, I really, really, really wanted to love this. I'm not saying I'll never use it again. I already have it. You guys know that I film a lot, so I go through a lot of makeup wipes. So I would probably still use it once in a while. But I just, the tugging on my skin so hard. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so moving into my pro kind of pros. <laughs> like, I wanted to have a bunch of pros for you guys, but I just don't. Um, but the pro that I have, the main pro that I have, is that if you use um, makeup towels or you use, like, the makeup solution with, like, the little round pads to help take off the makeup and stuff like that, you're definitely going to save money just buying this and then using it over and over with some water. If you have to put a little bit of elbow grease to scrub it, like, you'll have to do that but it will save you money if you want it to save money now my last little pro ish is that it does work like my makeup is being removed it's just not quick and it's not super easy and it doesn't come off like in five seconds like it does in a lot of these videos and a lot of people that are saying that it's just like the most amazing thing ever I mean I, I don't know, like I said, this is just my opinion with my skin, with my makeup. So that is my pro-ish. So let me go ahead and zoom you in so you can see. So this is like 12 plus minutes, like 12 and a half minutes, let's say, of uh, removing my makeup. And I just want to show you, most of it is definitely off. But there is little things here and there. And I feel like to be getting to the 12 minute mark, like, we should be done. But I'm probably going to have to go in with a makeup towel and just make sure that everything's off. So let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, you guys, so you're nice and zoomed in, and just by giving you guys a quick pan here, I'm sure you guys can see there's little glitters everywhere, and that is from the last time I wiped 
my makeup off with this. So I've washed it in a machine and I've scrubbed it with my hands and there's still glitter in it. So that's something just to take into consideration. Also right here there's still a little bit of eyeliner and I believe these back lashes still have a little bit of mascara on them. A little bit of eyeshadow and probably a little bit of mascara down at the bottom as well. Also this is something that I just maybe I don't know it's just me but I don't know if you guys can tell let me move it for different lighting but I almost feel like when you're using the makeup eraser it's almost like you have to push so hard that if you have like any wrinkles or you know anything like that um it's almost like the makeup gets shoved in there but you can see there's still like little spots on my nose that have um like makeup in there and I don't have that when I use my makeup towels so just you know take that into consideration um it's just those little things I'm just trying to help you guys out so let me go ahead and zoom you guys out really quick but you guys lastly I just want to remind you guys that this is just my opinion please if you love it use it love it I'm not telling you to not um I'm just simply here giving you guys my opinion and you guys are going to do with it whatever you guys want um and yeah guys so that is it from me I'm going to let you guys go before my AC turns on and I will see you guys in my next one adios